in the second inning. Ryan Ramirez, who would be tasked with taking over in relief in the circle for Kate Donaldson to start with. Okay, what's up, Wildcat fans? My name is Corey Holmes, and I am with Weaver State Athletics. And today I'm here with Noelle Foster, Faith Ho, and Landy Hawker from the softball team. We are going to talk about another epic moment of the 2020 season, something that you as fans may have missed. Um, so today we're going to talk about their trip to Texas um, and one of the epic moments that happened there. So, Faith, do you want to kind of start us off and tell us what happened? Yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, we're at Texas. Um, we had, I think, one game left. So it's like our fourth game. Played Texas. We're all pretty nervous. And it was the second inning. Um, uh, Mo had just came in for Kate in relief, or we, we had a pitching change. And so then this was her first at bat. So that was kind of cool. She came in, and from when she started pitching, she was really calm and collected. And it kind of felt like she had done this before, which was, which was cool. And uh, yeah, got in the batter's box and hit that home run. It was awesome. Um, I think the first pitch, too. She was, it was gone for sure over the left field fence. And I think uh, the cool part about that, too, that was the first home run that Texas had given up as a pitching staff. So that made it even more epic. Um, yeah, and it just got kind of got us rolling. It, and we had really good approaches that whole game. But it was kind of cool to see it go over the fence, like, yeah, we can do this. Just like because they had hit two home runs off of us. So it was like we can hit them off them, too. So that was really cool. And then I think that was a big momentum shift for us. Um, we started getting more people on base, started scoring runs. So that was cool. So it was very epic, I would say. And it was just cool to see Mo do it. Um, she's a pitcher that hit, um, which we don't really have a lot here at Weber of those. So it was cool to see Coach Amicone let her hit and Mo step up and, and hit the home run. So, um, Noel, what was your thoughts on that when Mo got up and hit that bomb? Well, like Faith said, Mo was kind of just on fire that entire game. She just was kind of in the zone. Like she came in and really for Kate and she – pitched amazing and then um faith singled in the second inning and mo answered to those two home runs by just i remember they have a big green wall and just hitting it over and it was like kind of by the scoreboard it was just just a really cool view and then yeah she just um kept on pitching great and yeah it was really fun to watch and just the energy was amazing and she didn't give up after that first inning it was great uh, Landy? Um, yeah, I mean, that home run was unreal, but I think it's important because that really, like, showed the rest of the team, like, oh, my goodness, like, we can still be in this game. We can still do this. We can still hit off of them. Like, they put their pants on just like we do in the morning. So I think that was awesome. She really got the ball rolling for us, and the momentum definitely changed because I feel like that after that first inning, there was kind of a little bit of a low, and she came right in and picked us up, and we started getting a ton of energy in the dugout and, like, when we went out on the field the next inning. So it just helped play into the innings to come. It was honestly amazing. Um, one thing that, I mean, when you think about Texas, Texas was ranked number four in the nation when we played them. Um, they're a powerhouse softball school. They always have been. Like, I remember watching them when I was a little kid. Um, and a lot of people don't know Weber State or the name that we are constantly trying to make for ourselves. So when that happened, kind of, you guys have kind of touched on it a little bit, but kind of touch again on like how um, when you go and play those powerhouse softball schools, what the atmosphere is like for you guys, and then kind of like how you're able to compete against them. Uh, Faith? Yeah, so – I always love playing those big schools because I feel like they kind of look over us. And, yeah, we're just a small school, but um, we have nothing to lose when we play them. Uh, and so we just go out and play as hard as we can. Uh, just We're going to face, like, the best – we want them to put in their best pitcher. Like, we want to face their, their best, and we're going to see girls, big, big girls that we don't see on a regular basis. And it's just really fun to compete against those teams because we – yeah, you usually get overlooked, but yeah, Mo coming in, um, and she's played big teams before, but she just came in with such ease and confidence and she was put in a tough spot. Like they had just hit two home runs off Kate. And so it was like, okay, we really need a momentum shift. And I was just going to add this when Mo hit it, there was some hecklers in left field 
on the on the wall against the wall and she hit him right over their heads which was just like, super cool to do so <laughs> it's funny uh yeah. landy um it's so great because we actually so mike white the coach at texas he was at oregon when we went up there like two years ago and played them and we played really well too against them so I think it's really fun to see that because they remember who we were from there. So, I mean, we're leaving, um, we're making kind of a mark and leaving our name because we do play so well. We step up and we don't shut down against that big competition. But it is, I mean, it can be very intimidating at first just because, like, you do watch them on TV. You do watch them and they have all these big names and that's what you're seeing when that um, – NCAA posts about them you're seeing those girls and then all of a sudden you're playing against them so it's really fun to see because you and I mean we're hanging with them Mo hit a freaking home run off of them like it's just is so everything is just like heightened when you play against teams like that it's so much fun. Noel? Um, I think a common misconception is that like we can't hang with bigger schools but we can I even think we play better like, we all brought our A game, and Mo was there to pitch, Faith was there to hit and field. I think you had, like, what, five putouts, six putouts? And um, I don't know. We just came and we played to the best of our ability, like, from what I've seen. Even when we played Duke, we just brought our A game. Um, I like it. Um, one thing, too, that I think about, too, like, going in and playing schools like that gives us the opportunity for when we go to regionals to like be able to compete as well as we did. And like last year we played some really big schools in the preseason as well. And then when we went to UCLA, we competed and then we turned and made history. So um, kind of touch on how like playing schools like that can like lead into the bigger opportunities when it regionals and postseason hits. Landy. Um, playing those schools. I mean, they're uh, pitching, they're, they're pitchers are able just to move the ball. So, I mean, just seeing and having that experience, that gives you confidence just in the preseason. Go so when you do start conference season, you already have like, oh my gosh, like I just hit off of the best pitcher in the country. You know what I mean? So then you're like, confidence is up there. But then once you get um, to postseason, it's like, wow, we just played against teams like this. We can do it. We can hang. And I just think – Playing those teams during preseason preseason really just helps with your overall confidence and like, wow! Like I said before, they put on their pants the same way that we do. They're not much different than we are. You know what I mean? So I just think that in that aspect of things, it really helps a lot. Faith. Faith. Uh oh. Did we lose her? <laughs> All right. Noah, how about you this go? This my first time seeing. Oh, like, there the, we go. Oh, sorry. Did I cut out? Yeah, you did. Okay, start <laughs> okay, over. Sorry. Go <laughs> I think a good example of this would be when we played UCLA uh, in the regional last year. And at least for me, this is what I feel. Um, like seeing those girls for the first time, seeing like the Perez, the shortstop, and Rachel Garcia, and facing these girls, you're like, these are big name girls, right? And then like trying to hit them off hard and play a good game against them. Well, then we play them this preseason, and you're like, I've seen them before. Like, I've seen that uniform combo. I've seen the coaches in the dugout, the girl at shortstop. Like, this seems familiar, and then you kind of play them better. You're like, it's just, they're just another team. They're just another set of girls, you know? So I think it gives you more confidence, and you're, like, starting to realize, like, we, are, we can play them tough, and we can, we can compete. We can do this. Noel, um, as a freshman, you had that incredible experience to go and play at Texas. So kind of talk about it from your perspective um, as a freshman coming into this. Because Faith and Laura and Faith and Landy have seen it before, but what was it like for you? Um, the atmosphere was amazing. I was kind of like in shock when I walked up there and I was like, wow, this is Texas, you know, because you um, you follow them from when you're a little girl and then you see them all over NCAA softball and then stepping onto that field and like looking out and looking at the scoreboard and the big field. It's just, it's great to be able to be a part of that experience and to be able to play teams like them. Perfect. Okay. Is there anything else you guys want to add at all about your summer, how you guys are doing, 
uh, how the season was, anything else. What's your final thoughts, Faith? Uh, nothing. We're just excited to get back. It feels like this is like what the third month we've been away or second month. It's like you feel like it's summer. You're like, okay, we're ready to be back, but we still have a little bit to go. So we're anxious to get back, put on the uniform again, and, and play for the Weavers. So we're excited. Wendy? Um, yeah, I, it's been weird. I mean, it was for sure really hard. I mean, after everything that happened with the whole quarantine and our season being cut short. So that was kind of sucky. And then having to say goodbye to everyone early, not have those two months that we usually have, like on the road and for conference games and postseason being able to host. So that was really hard. But I mean, it's nice now with the nice weather. I've been biking and hiking a lot. I'm about to go hike Kings Peak this weekend, backpack it. So I've been trying to stay busy. But I'm also taking an art class this <laughs> summer. And Pretty nice. Yeah, it has been interesting to say the least, but we are having fun. So that's about all that's happened really with me. So, Noel? Um, I'm just excited to play a full season, you know, kind of see what postseason is like in conference play. Um, it'll be a new experience, and I'm really excited to, you know, get that opportunity to get out and play. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, be sure to follow along with Weaver State Softball at WSU Softball on all of our social media pages. And um, as always, go Wildcats. Woo! <laughs>